Positioned out on the farthest western fringe of western China, on the border of Kazakhstan, a tick from the Eurasian pole of inaccessibility, the farthest point on earth from the ocean, places don't get much more remote than Horgos, a city whose name technically means place of much camel dung. Horgos was once a thriving center on the ancient Silk Road, before beginning a long slide in obscurity as the trade routes that were its lifeblood were forgotten and covered in dunes. For the centuries that followed, the place was cast off from the rest of the world by distance, deserts, mountains, and impermeable borders. But this frontier position is precisely why Horgos has risen to the apex of China's national interest. Although its history extends back to the Sui Dynasty, the modern city of Horgos is a little over a year old. On June 29, 2014, the place was formally elevated to city status by the central government. Upon this decree, a US $3.25 billion dollar Investment was pumped into Hortigos and the surface area was increased 100 fold, swallowing up several nearby towns and villages into a municipality that's twice the size of New York City. As of now, only 85,000 people live within this expanse, but this is set to change fast. When it matures, it is expected that the new Hortigos will be home to 200,000 people. This new city on the frontier of Xinjiang has essentially become a backdoor for China to access the markets on the other side of the Eurasian Gap. Hortigos is China's main land port on the New Silk Road, a network of trade corridors, transport routes, pipelines, and logistics zones stretching from East Asia to Europe, covering a market of over 3 billion people. The vision is to grow Horgos into an urban counterweight to balance out the booming cities of China's east coast. So cities like Horgos and Kashgar are being transitioned into major transport and shipping hubs, hubs, ports for trains and trucks, rather than ships. Although right now there isn't much this highly touted epicenter of international commerce, the Western Europe Western China Highway, aptly called Yaou Boulevard, runs through the center of town. Cheap trade grade hotels that smell of vegetable oil, stale cigarette smoke, and unchained linen line this strip, along with local noodle stalls and dusty confectionery shops. If it wasn't for the skeletons of half built high rises and the shells of wholesale markets to be, the place wouldn't look much different than any other Xinjiang backwater. Hortigos is still very young, it's hardly more than a proof of concept splayed out upon a far-flung Xinjiang plain. A year or two ago, there wasn't much more than a road, some train tracks, and a border. Construction projects now ripple out from the center of town, encroaching farther into the lavender field, fields toward the mountains beyond. A small, remote town is being turned into a modern city by all-out fiat. The order came down to build it, so it was being built. China's western borderlands will soon have big cities. Hortigos, the new first new city of the New Silk Road, has been born.